of viewers. So me and Pallavi are back after a long time because I was not in the country. Fifty and, days. Fifty uh, days. More than that actually. So a lot has changed in the political landscape of India. It seems in the last fifty days, it's not the same country that I left. A <laughs> lot of changes have happened. <laughs> no, and you are suffering from a jet lag with different kind of heat. Yeah, the heat has definitely intensified. Uh, 45, 44 degrees here. Yeah. A uh, terrible heat wave. Uh, you know, not just in India and other countries, also of uh, Southeast Asia. But uh, the big news, what we and Pallavi are going to discuss today, is the Chintan happening yeah, yeah. in Udaipur. Pallavi is here monitoring the Chintan from Udaipur, and she all knows all about it. So Pallavi, what Rahul Gandhi's update is today, what Raj? Yeah, but I see officially speaking, Chintan Shiva is not going to be about that. But you know, look at the optics of it. Hmm. You get a message out that Rahul Gandhi go, you know, give him a warm farewell when he goes to Udaipur. You have this whole barrage of party workers meeting him through the night wherever the train is stopping. He takes a train, which is also he's accompanied by his very close group, the loyals. So, uh, so to say, you know, whether it's a Bhupesh Baghel or whether Manika Tagore, he reaches there, gets another warm welcome. Ashok Gallo is sitting next to him, and I suspect what is going to happen inside is. And you know, Sonia Gandhi is in fact speaking as we speak. Sonia Gandhi and uh, there's going to be this huge clamor in the crowd that Rahul go president banao. And the usual thing, you know, they say no, no, no. Elections are taking place, and you guys who say that, I will do it for you. Because Rahul Gandhi's speech is what's going to be mattering. Yeah. But the other important thing, which is now come up, which is stirred up a lot of controversy, which we uh, reported also about earlier, is a one family, one ticket. Yes. Now here's the thing, Aman. This is where I want to ask you this question because Kiran Rijiju has also tweeted on this. Mm. All along, BJP has attacked the Congress on a dynastic tag. Mm. Congress decided to shed this and counter this tag by going in from one family, one ticket. Mm. They come out with an exception, which doesn't name the Gandhis, which benefits the Gandhis, which allows Sia Priyanka to contest in 2024. So, won't the BJP be laughing? It's well, just giving it, it to it, them it, on a platter. Good thing the Priyanka is finally going to contest after we have a slam Priyanka all this while she that, that she doesn't contest. It's a good thing. No, no? but see, Aman, this is exactly what you also spoke mm. about when you were traveling to UP. That maybe the smartest thing for her would have been to contest in the UP Assembly. Board. Yeah. Because she was in charge. She was in charge, and you just take on a tough fight. You show yeah. that you're not scared to. Gandhi Parivar ke kila, we have to complain. Hota hai na, they're scared for a fight. See, I think Pallavi, long and short of it, if it make it, you know, I think whatever happening in Udaipur and if Rahul Gandhi is ultimately announced as the president of the Congress, that is what exactly the BJP also. Wants. Exactly. You know, yeah. it is something which even the BJP privately welcomes. Rahul Gandhi as the face of the Congress, the Congress president, or be the prime ministerial candidate in 2024. Suits the BJP big time because this is a game that BJP has played twice and won. You know, Rahul Gandhi is a known commodity for the BJP. They have a strategy in place on how to take on Rahul Gandhi. It's a tested strategy, as some people in BJP would tell you. That हमें पता है राहुल गांधी को counter कैसे करना है. वो पुरानी हमारी एक playbook तैयार है. हम उसी playbook को roll out करेंगे और लोग उसको lap up करें. And this Rahul Gandhi as a candidate for a PM has been rejected twice by the people oh, oh. in 14 and 19. So I strongly believe, and more I speak to BJP leaders also, is that a Gandhi-led Congress is one of the biggest assets of the Modi government. You know, going into any election, maybe a non-Gandhi-led Congress or a non-Gandhi-led opposition front is a more potent front, is a more yeah. potent you know force against the BJP. This is a game that BJP has played. BJP has aced, and I don't think the BJP is much bothered. BJP, in fact, wants this to happen, loves this to happen, and. If it happens, you will also see BJP leaders in a way welcoming it. Very good. You know, I think Prashant Kishore understood that. He's yeah. he's conspicuous by his absence today, of course, because he's yeah. not a part of the Congress party, but he's very much there. You know, yeah. and Prashant Kishore precisely made the point that you know you make him, you know, maybe your um, the face campaign face yeah. or something like that. He travels across the country, but he did not say it so openly. But he suggested it. You should not make him the president. Exactly. But yeah. what about yeah. Sonia Gandhi? A Sonia Gandhi taking charge in 2004 did what was then thought to be unthinkable in yes. a sense, you know, unraveling a Vajpayee era yeah. and also getting all the unlikely partners together. Does a Sonia in charge actually make the BJP not nervous but little wary? See, Sonia Gandhi does have a good record. You no, know, Sonia Gandhi yeah. is a person, and they who, don't attack her that much defeat, personally. Yes, defeat, she defeated Atal Bihari Vajpayee in 2004 under Mr. Advani in 2009. The BJP couldn't win. Oh. And Sonia Gandhi, though Manmohan Singh was the PM, Sonia Gandhi was still very much the face of the party in even in the 2009 election. So Sonia Gandhi does have a good record, but you know, the, I think the larger question is: Has the country moved on from the dynasty politics? You know, we are seeing dynasty politics collapsing in Sri Lanka. Yeah. We are seeing it more. I think people in India, I think, have got rid of that. You know, I got rid of that hangover that we have to vote for a dynasty. I think the Modi brought that single biggest change as the PM. 
that you know there is no dynasty there is no bhai bhatija vaad here anymore in politics so i think people have caught on to that idea so you know when you speak of arvind kejriwal challenging the bjp or when you speak of mamta banerji challenging the bjp the new thing palvi i think they bring to the table there is no dynasty package so people see them as one of their own while the gandhis now you know people see them as a no as a royal really entitled family, and, entitled yeah. so, but it, and as far as pk goes i think prashant kishor goes there it is no secret that prashant kishor is a big fan of priyanka gandhi being the face of the congress he tried that even in the two, uh, in the uh, 2017 up elections which congress did not agree to i but even this time he wanted that to happen that priyanka should be a face maybe rahul can be the ideological head of the party you know going around and that's what was planned was yeah. yeah. priyanka should be the face but we all know that is not going to happen in the congress See, the point also aman i think the they they feel that the counter to modi would be having a woman as a face because women voters have been hugely voting for the bjp and the bjp's big plan in 2024 is also that so if you have a mahila which worked for sonia gandhi and her taking charge the bjp uh, would i would say little bit careful about priyanka gandhi vadra i definitely congress best i don't know if it will but priyanka gandhi not, but definitely a woman face is a strong bet against mr modi but i think what we have to also consider that women voters don't vote for mr modi they vote for mr modi for specific reasons yeah. you know it is the government schemes it is the policies which the government has followed be it the various schemes are completely women centric that has got the women especially the poor women poor women which has rallied behind mr modi now can that poor woman voter forget the 10 years of benefits they've got and rally for a priyanka gandhi face suddenly you know have that over overture completely change Uh, I have my doubts. See, I say this as a woman, I'm not going to vote for a candidate only because I'm of a gender factor. I'm yeah. going to definitely vote for a candidate who I feel can give me what I want. Yeah. And it doesn't need to be a woman who understands the plight of a woman. It can be a man also. Exactly. And a large number of Muslim women, for example, they did vote for the BJP, right? In UP and all. Yeah, I mean, at least the figures say that at least four to seven percent Muslim voters. Which, given the, the perception about BJP, is UK good enough. Ganas, you know, it is surprising that you know. uh the bjp in fact is very happy that you know south to 7% muslim voters have voted maybe many of them were muslim women hmm. but uh, as you as i i agree with you that i think the voting uh, the voter in the country has moved beyond dynasty and gender politics it is more now who kill benefit us and who do they trust hmm. so i think much is on the table in the congress chintan shivar i think more than the leadership issue i think congress needs a narrative what is going to be the narrative going into the next election what is the new thing of anand prashant kishor talks with the congress were also not just about the leadership it was also about what is your what are you bringing new to the what is the new narrative yeah. last time the narrative was a false scam which flop no what is the new narrative you are bringing against the bjp this time is it is it the crime no, but the head? negative campaign certainly doesn't work it helps the bjp it helps yeah. modi that's yeah. what it like it helped ironically the congress party in 2004 Those attacks on Sonia Gandhi helped her. She she milked it. I'm surprised that the Congress Party is going to go back to that. They have some out of the pocket ideas, you know, like they have these things about no post for more than five years, fifty percent of the seats reserved for people below the fifty years age, and all of that. But I don't know because they are obviously trying to target target the first time voters for 2024, the women voters also. I mean, we are doing a lot of chintan over the chintan shivir, <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> but i don't know whether things are going to change we'll only come to 15th is going to be a big day actually because that's when the resolutions are going to be passed ye baithak ke ek aur baithak ya baithak pe baithak pe baithak they meet to meet again and again and again because a change will only come in aman it's very important for any political party to win elections exactly. and if after all this chintan shivir they don't win elections then nothing changes yeah the the as i said the proof of the pudding is in the eating, eating and we have yeah. elections coming up and Gujarat and Himachal Pradesh later this year. What is BJP? And Karnataka, there is a war going on. Then there is, of course, Gujarat and Himachal, as you pointed out, and other states as well. Well, it's a wrap from us. It's yes. an early wrap from us. But do give us your reaction. We are back again. We are going to be back every week. Aman is not going anywhere. At least I'm not going to let you go anywhere. So we are going to be back. Do give us your reactions. What is it that you want to know from us? The gupchup, the analysis, the big picture.